Hi, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, we got our little ripper here today. Uh, we always get questions on when we want to do longer material, like logs or even resawing. So I'm going to show you how to do that, something like this today. Um, we sell a setup that basically increases the capacity. So what it gets, you get two of these wings. Now I already got mine set up on the, on the right side here. But I'm going to show you, I got a couple extenders. Now if we look in here, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a couple of dovetailed slots in the bottom of this track. And then we got these extenders that will slide right in there. Like so. So, over here I got a note feed roller. This is going to be what I use as a support. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust this roller right underneath my track. Initially that will help me to set it up. So I'm just going to do that. I don't have to do that later. Then I get my little extender here. They come in a little plastic bag like this. Put one in each of these slots. And I join her up like that. Now it also comes with these little Allen screws. That's what I use to tighten them. So I'm going to tighten them up and then I'll come back to you guys later. Alright, so we got the track all set up now. We got the two four foot extensions on either side here. Now I got two little rippers here. Now you can see this one here, we got a plate on the back. That's what we call a height extension. So since my log is fairly large in diameter, um, anything over about seven inches, you're going to need the height extension. So that's the difference. You can see that. So I got two of them set up here. I'll bring this one back over. Now, what we're going to do now is stick this about six foot log, long log in the two lower rippers. Now I got a helper here, my sister in law. Um, so we're going to lift this thing up and we're going to put her in. You ready? Okay. So we're going to lift up these claws. And hopefully, this thing will slide in here nice and smooth. Alright, so we'll back that up if we can there. There we go. Same thing on the front side here. I'm going to lock one in here so it doesn't move around on me. And then we'll finish up this end. Alright, so now we just got to tighten these claws. That'll hold the slog in place. And then we will be ready to cut. But we gotta tighten it, of course. There we are. Okay. Now this is just a piece of cedar that we got here. So on the Laguna bandsaw, we got a three quarter inch blade. Um, I'm using a fairly aggressive blade, it's 1.8 teeth per inch. I'm cutting a fairly long piece of material here, so that'll help us increase the speed. Um, the cut's not going to be the smoothest cut you've ever seen, but it'll be a decent cut. So, let's get this bandsaw set up. Raise that up a little bit. I'll lock that in, and we're ready to go. Now this track is adjustable, I got a lock here. So we're going to slide this track so that I'm just taking off the outside edge of this lock here. I'm going to lock that up, that way it doesn't move back and forth on me. And we'll turn this off. Actually I need my safety glasses, so we're going to have to cut if I'm going to get them. Okay, while I was getting my safety glasses, um, I realized that the little ripper, I don't know if you guys can see this, has raised up because uh, this log has got a big bow in it. Uh, it was easy fix to that. I got a couple shims. It's just a busted off um, edge I trim. So I'm going to loosen that back up. That's going to go back down. And between the little ripper and the log, I'm going to put these shims. And that'll keep it from raising back up. Just like that. Tighten it here. Okay. We'll tighten it up. 
and we are good and ready to cut. Actually, I should get another shim there. I'll do that. All right, so we're ready to cut. So we're going to turn the saw on. So once I flip that board over and over, I'll flip this flat side to the bottom and that'll allow me to cut literally boards out of this log. Maybe I'll do that once or twice for you guys. So now, 
we look at what I just made, I should have a pretty decent little book match here. I don't know if you guys can see that. <clears throat> That's what we can do. Right there. So there's my book match. That ain't too bad. That's just out of a log that was in my uh, a burning pile. I was going to use that as firewood this year. That's a nice little piece of cedar. So yeah, that's the sawmill package. So my limits would be, I can do about eight feet long. Now the way I had this one set up here particularly, um, I had too much of the log set to the outside here. I should have this little ripper right on the ends. That was just an oversight on my part, but that's okay, it still worked. Um, so I can do about eight feet long and about 14 inch diameter. That's the full capacity of this saw anyway. So basically the capacity of whatever your saw is by about eight feet long. And that's what we call a sawmill package. Um, you can check this out on our website, stockroomsupply.com, or call us up. Yeah.